Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number six of exercise four point three. And the question says the diagonal of a rectangular field is sixty meter more than the shorter side. If the longer side is thirty meter more than the shorter side, you have to find the sides of the field. Here you are given a rectangular field. Means field should look like this. And here, this should be diagonal. And in the question, it is uh, given that the diagonal of a rectangular field is 60 more than its shorter side. Obviously, this should be the shorter side. And if the length of this side is x meter, so obviously diagonal is 60 meter more than this side. So this should be x plus 60 meters. And in second case, it is given that. The longer side is 30 meter more than the shorter side. So obviously, this should be the longer side, and this should be 30 plus x meters. Means this should be 30 meter more than this shorter side. Now we know that in a rectangular box, or you can say in a rectangular field, this should be right angle, and this should be a right angle triangle. And in this right angle triangle, we can use the Pythagoras theorem. And the Pythagoras says, using Pythagoras theorem, Pythagoras theorem says, in any right angle triangle, the square of its longest side, which is this, which we call hypotenuse square, the square of its longest side is basically equals to the Sum of squares of other two sides, which are perpendicular square plus base square. So this is Pythagoras theorem. The square of longest side is basically equal to the square of other two sides. Sum of other two sides. Now we can substitute the value. We know that hypotenuse here is x plus 60. So this is whole square. Perpendicular is x square. And base is x plus 30 whole square. Now we have this equation. We can expand it and so further solving it. This is a plus b whole square. So this will be when this will be open, we will be using the formula for a plus b whole square. So a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus b square plus 2 into a into B. Similarly, on the right hand side, this will be x square, but again, this will be a plus b whole square. So when we have to open this, we have to use the formula a plus b whole square. So this will be a square plus b square plus two into a into and our b is thirty. Now solving this, this x square will be x square. 60 square is basically 6 square is 36, and the number of zero will be doubled. And this will be 60 into 2 is 120 x equals to this will be x square plus x square. 30 square is basically 3 square is 9, and the number of zero get doubled. And this will be 30 into 2, 60 x. Now we can shift this uh, all the terms to the right hand side. This positive when shifted to that side will become negative. So negative x square, positive x square can be cancelled out. Now shifting this, this x square will remain as it is. Plus 60 x will remain as it is. But this my plus when shifted to that side will become minus 120 x. And plus 900 will remain as it is on the right hand side. But this positive will become minus. 3600 equals to zero. On one side of the equal to sign will be zero because all the terms has to be uh, has been uh, shifted to the other side. So solving this x square will remain as it is. This and this is like terms 60x and 120x. So this can be solved. Plus minus is minus 120 minus 60 is 60x. Similarly, plus minus is minus thirty six hundred minus nine hundred is basically twenty seven hundred equals to zero. Now 
we have our standard quadratic equation and if you want to find the value of x or you can say the sides of a rectangular field you have to solve this or you can say you have to factorize this and we know that how to factorize or you can say how to solve a quadratic equation we have three methods either you can split the middle term either you can complete the square and either you can use the formula and the best part here is uh, to solve this is to split this middle term you have to split this middle term which is 60 into two parts such that their multiplication must be 2700 and their subtraction or you can say their difference must be equal to 60 because here it is negative sign now for that if you are not able to assume uh, the values by your own you can factorize this 2800 2700 so this will be 3 into 9 into 0 0 this will be 3 into 3 0 0 this will be 3 into 1 5 into 20 5 into 4 and this will be 2 into 2 so 3 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 into 2 into 2 are the factors of this and you have to assume two factors of 2700 whose difference is 60 uh, by common sense if I ignore the 0 we have to split 6 into 2 parts such that their multiplication must be 27 and their difference must be 6 so obviously we can factorize 27 and the factor are 9 and 3 9 into 3 is 27 and 9 minus 3 is 6 because here are 0 so, so that we can, uh, we can suppose 30 and 90 as our two factors for that we are using this 2 and 1 3 as one factor which is 5 into 2 into 3 and another factor as the remaining one which is 3 into 3 into 5 into this 2 so this will be our two factors required factors which are 90 and 30 90 into 30 is 2700 and 90 minus 30 is 60 so we can solve the equation which is x square minus 60x minus 2700 splitting the middle term this can be written as 90x minus 30x is equal to 2700 this is equal to 0 now we can open the bracket x square minus 90x and uh, when there is a negative sign outside the bracket we know that the, both the signs get changed inside the bracket positive will become negative negative will become positive and this will be 2700 equals to 0 now from the first two terms we can take x as common so taking x as common from x square only x will remain inside the bracket and from the 90x if x is taken out only 90 will remain inside the bracket now again you have to take something as common so that inside the bracket only x minus 90 will remain inside the bracket so obviously here it is 30x if we take 30 as common only x will remain inside the bracket and if from the 2700 one factor which is 30 is taken out so only another factor which is 90 will remain inside the bracket and with this positive sign now we have this as one term this as another term because here it is positive, term, positive sign uh, differentiating or you can say separating these two terms and from both the terms x minus 90 can be taken common because there is uh, in both the terms there is a factor which is x minus 90 so from first if this is taken out only x will remain and from the second only 30 will remain inside the bracket now we know that if the multiplication of two factors is equal to 0 so clearly the value of these two factors must be equal to 0 so we can say the value of x minus 90 must be equal to 0 so the value of x must be 90 Similarly, the value of x plus 30 must be equal to 0, so the value of x must be minus 30. So we have the values of x which is 90 and minus 30 and x is basically the side of the shorter side of a rectangular field. So clearly the side of a rectangular field cannot be negative. So obviously the value of x 
should be equals to 90 or you can say the value of this shorter side must be equals to 90 meters so clearly the longer side must be 930 meter longer than so this will be 120 meters and the diagonal must is 60 meter more than the shorter side so this should be 150 meters so this is how you can solve this particular question thank you